my god, my tag from my dress just fell down my back and I thought someone had touched it. Oh my god. Hello everybody, I hope you're all really well. I hope wherever you are and whenever you're watching this, it is as sunny as it is today in London. I'm having to film this video and it's so noisy outside that I can't open the windows and it is 28.5 degrees in my room. I've been shopping so much online recently. In fact, I did a massive, well not massive, but pretty like busty. I am Gia order last night. I don't know if I have enough to film a video. I can't really remember how much I ordered. But if I did, I'll defo film a haul. And if not, I'll just like put it on my Instagram story. But yeah, as I was saying, I've been doing so much online shopping recently. And I've also come to the sad, sad realization that I cannot keep every single clothing item in my wardrobe because these bad boys are bursting so i also thought i'd do like a little mini try on clip of a few things i'm going to be selling on depop and i'm actually so excited and over the moon and elated to announce that depop are sponsoring this first little part of the video i use depop all the time to just get like really cool little pieces for my wardrobe or also if something's really popular and it's sold out i'll usually go and try and find it on depop i also frequently use depop to sell my own clothes and if you are thinking about selling your own clothes a little bit of advice for photos because I'd like to think my photos have come quite a long way since it was just the top on a hanger on my Ikea wardrobe. You know, no shade to that, but I mean, you know, what's it? Where's the spice? Make sure you get the full item in. And if you're selling a top, pair it with a cute pair of jeans. Like show people what it's gonna look like actually styled. I know the temptation to stay in your three year old little bobbled gray joggers is so real, but get the jeans out. And another tip for if you're new to Depop or you just kind of struggle to find things you like, I go on, <laughs> this is totally baking myself out. I will actually like search for an Instagrammer I like or even just a Depop seller that I really like and I have a scroll through their likes and basically steal and buy everything from their likes before they can. I'm really sorry but you, what's the there's a, something that's like I'm so fast I don't know. I was about to say it's too early in the morning. What am it's half past 12. So whilst we're on the topic of Depop I'm actually going to do a really quick little try on of a few little pieces and bits and bobs that I'm going to be selling on there. <laughs> getting into the hall. These have brought so much love and joy and hideousness and colour into my life. I got myself a pair of like chunky platform crocs. I literally just got them off the crocs website. I know they sell them on ASOS but they didn't do the thick sole and I'm sure you guys all know by now I like a bit of height on my trainers to and look how much height these actually give you. I'm gonna put them on my feet. Before, after, before, after, before, after. You see that? It's a scam. With summer dresses, these are gonna be so cool. Like, a, literally, a dress just like this. Oh, this camera angle is not great. With a little dress like this one, which is also gonna be part of this haul, but. We'll, we'll come on to her later. I've got all these little charms on them. I got a little one that says love, a little star, a matcha. Um, that's really bad. I don't know what that's called. Is it a Pac-Man? That's not a Pac-Man, is it? Not me buying gamer charms. I also have it in blue, but she's being kept over there in the archives. And then, oh no, it's on the shoe. And then in this one, I have a little orange, a little cake, and a cute little blue thing that shall not be named. Although one thing is actually, I tried these on, <laughs> I tried these on earlier, I completely nearly stacked it. Oh my God. Like, saw my whole life flash before my eyes. Something about them, the sides of them kind of tip over really easily, or maybe it's just because I've got 
frail little ankles. This dress is another item that I have got recently. It's this really cute little dress and it's got these really sweet cherry prints on it. I do have to kind of tie it in a knot because everything I ever buy is always too long for me. But I just think it's so sweet. I actually posted a little video um, this morning debuting my new Crocs and I was wearing this dress in it and so many of you guys were asking where it's from and it is from Motel and I have no doubt she will be being super utilised and red is also a colour that I never really delve into if I remember correctly I got a few red bits from IMG last night and I also have some pretty exciting hair plans for post lockdown salon glow up and I think red will be a new addition to my wardrobe this is the next thing I got from Motel Rocks and this dress with the Crocs Big thumbs up from me. With Motel Rocks, I would recommend sizing about two sizes down, to be honest. All of the clothes that I get from them, I get in a extra, extra small. And I don't think I'm an extra, extra small, but their sizing does tend to come up quite big, and especially because I'm a little bit shorter. Homegirl's going out in a summer dress looking like she's retiring to join a nunnery. But really cute, neutral. I just, I see Primrose Hill, Picnic, bottle of, I was going to say rosé, but realistically it will be vodka mix because I'm still 12 years old and that's fine. Or alternatively, we've just cycled to Hyde Park and we get off and we go to a little coffee shop and get a matcha and walk around and my legs are out and I've got a natural tan and I'm not freezing and I've got a cute little like beaded necklace on. <sighs> Can't wait. The hair had to come up for this one because... Ooh. Ooh. I'm still the best at it. I'm convinced I, I am Millie Bobby Brown. I used to get comments saying that I sounded like Millie Bobby Brown but looked like Greta Thunberg. I mean, I'll take it. Brown, chocolate, bodycon, strappy, ruched, delicious, fun, sexy. Babes, who do you think you are? Motel, babes. You killed it. Me and Olivia and Lewis started calling each other babes as a joke and now it's just become an automatic part of my vocabulary and then sometimes I'll catch myself calling people I'm friends with but I'm not like close enough to be calling babes babes. Or even my mum. Be like, yeah babes. I'm gonna lock this girl away. Oh my god, my coffee machine is on madness this morning. Point of view, it's June, July, whatever the date is. We're walking into the bar with the girls. Oh, espresso martini please, bartender. I look like an espresso martini in this dress. Espresso, chocolate, dreaminess, and everything I could have ever wanted and more. Another little motel piece, kind of ruched at the front, really deep V. The back is completely open. I love a good open back. I just always think it's so flattering. And I, I don't know, I just think a back is a nice area. Although, have you ever had a back profile shot? Because this is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Someone who I actively notice their back, I look at their back and I'm like, wow, if I could wake up tomorrow and wake up with someone's back, it would be Kendall Jenner's. Bizarre one, but go onto her Instagram and you'll understand what I mean. Beautiful woman. And then I also got these jeans as well. I love, did I do? Don't look at me like that. I love the way that they fit. I love that they fit kind of slightly, just like my waist is here and they just sit slightly underneath. I'm not necessarily a huge low-waisted girl. I am a bit scared of low-waisted jeans. I just feel so exposed in them. But if you do sort of, oh no! Why have they got mud all over the bum? Flossy Claire, get a grip. Clearly I have worn these out before and thoroughly enjoyed them. I'm trying to get my full, body in the shop right now and it's really really hard and then i also got these jeans which are this beautiful ground color the exact same style the exact same fit and then another pair of jeans well can i call them jeans because they're not denim yeah they're like corduroy jeans this pair of sort of dark chocolate cord jeans which i just think with like a simple white top a really nice tan lots of gold jewelry i'm really acting like i'm coming through with some innovation fashion stuff is what I wear every single day. It's what every single girl on your Instagram wears, but fuck it. If Rex Orange County wrote a song about corduroy, I'm gonna wear corduroy, you know. <laughs> when I film clothing hauls, I never turn my camera off. <laughs> so when, <laughs> when I'm editing, I have to look at myself like naked. <laughs> 
and it's traumatizing. These are a couple pieces I got from weekday. I've been obsessed with these tops. If you follow me on Instagram, I literally don't think I've worn anything else. Also, this whole hair wrap thing was only supposed to be... Ow. And I wonder why all my hair snaps off. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I now own this top in pretty much every single color they sell. I have the pink one and I also have the purple one. So in love with these. And then I also have the white one and I have a black one as well. They're just such a great fit. They are kind of see-through, which is why I wear a bra underneath, but I kind of will just wear like a little lacy bra. So it's not that ugly. This bra as well, this is actually also from weekday. It's really sweet. Isn't that weird? If this was like a bra, bra, like a bra. Sounds like I'm saying like bra, like bra. Bra. Me and Olivia have started saying bra. That's <laughs> everything. Because you, we went on a walk the other day and... <laughs> Why am I telling you this story? Literally, no one cares. We went on a walk the other day and she was wearing like a gilet. She looked like the boys who would go to my high school and the boys who would say, rah, 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 bro, that's some dirty bass. Okay, shut up. The Pierre de Resistance. I've seen so many of you guys get these and so many of you guys send to me that you've got these. They're these really cute oversized joggers um, and they've got like patterns all over them and little anime characters. I don't actually know what's it say. What does it say? So, uh, um, nope. No, nothing going on here. These jeans from weekday. Do you know what? In fact, even this outfit with the Crocs. When I do try on hauls, I always deep that I think I've got really long arms. I mean, they're probably really normal, but they just not look really long to you. Why I've always said I'm shit at TikTok dances because my arms are so long, I can't get them around in time. And that will be my excuse for the foreseeable future to get me out of doing them. Anyway, these jeans, best jeans ever, perfect color of denim. I actually have two pairs of them in two different waist sizes. I have this pair, which is my slightly bigger waist size, and I prefer the way that these fit on my waist because there's still, you know, there's a little bit of eating room, there's a little bit of breathing room. The other jeans, if I even think about eating anything on the day I wear them. Oh my god, I've got another thing coming. But then I prefer the fit of those ones around my legs. Moral of story, get onto weekday. I'm gonna link these jeans below. I'm gonna link most of the stuff, the stuff that I can below and get yourself these jeans. <laughs> so fun. The next place I've got a few pieces from is a lovely Depop shop called, it's either A&I Vintage or Annie Vintage. I think it's Annie Vintage. She was kind enough to send me over a few pieces. And honestly, you guys, if you love fun little dresses, cute little corsets, like everything I love to wear, like out out, you will love this Depop shop. I'm so in love with every single thing I receive. This obviously is the first piece. Now this is supposed to be a top, but because I have the height of a uh, 10 year old it works as me on a dress now a, a dress a short dress like a short dress but doable it's got like a bra top with these really cute little hot pink bows on i feel like i'm playing dress up when i wear this but at the same time like a cool dress up do you know what i mean i don't know it's just fun i'm putting all these dresses on and they've been on my bed with the um sun beaming on them and they're Boiling hot. This is the next dress I got from Annie Vintage. It's this really beautiful brown lacy dress. Once again, I think this is supposed to be a top. But shh, don't tell mum. It is kind of see-through from the bottom down, but I feel like because of the pattern on it, it's like not really that noticeable. Editing this back and you guys watching it, you can tell me if it's see-through or not. But I mean, any time will tell. I know I use the word special a lot, but... <sighs> special. This is a vintage La Perla satin, lacy, beautiful, special, delicious, wonderful, feminine, um, classy? I'd say classy. Although my mum did call me up after I posted a photo in this being like, not sure how I feel about you posting in your underwear. Emma, come on. 
it's 2021 this is not underwear honey it's all boned i think the neckline is just so cool and so special i just think this is so timeless and beautiful and i can sing any ariana grande song that has la perla in it with confidence now I was supposed to be in the video. I also got a couple other tops from Annie Vintage. I actually have a whole TikTok like trying on every single item. I'm not gonna like my camera's flashing and I've got so many other clothes to get through. This is one of the other tops she sent me. If you can see, it's just like a corset kind of style top. It's got really cute little bows. And this one's really fun as well because it actually has like the built on suspenders. Um, I don't think I'd attach them to anything if I was wearing it as a top. But over the top of a skirt, I think that's really fun and then another just oh, i honestly when she sent me this stuff i was genuinely so just in awe of her generosity because she sent me a vintage christian dior corset i'm not that fussed about designer but this is just so I'm gonna say it special you guys know i have this like one lacy bra that i wear with every single corset top that i need to wear a bra in if it's like got kind of see-through cut unfortunately my boobs are a little bit big for these cups so i do have to wear a bra underneath to stop it literally you know we've all been there so she does have some like designer options if you want to treat yourself but then also just some more normal affordable ones thank you so much i feel so spoiled and so lucky and I just, every time I look at it, it makes me feel a certain type of way. I think the hair's gonna have to go back up because I am sweating. Contrary to what I said about only wearing really oversized joggers, I got these joggers. The next place I got all this stuff from is ASOS, by the way. I got these Fiorucci joggers from ASOS. I really like the color of them. I really like, like, the green. But I wish I, had, I just wish I hadn't got them. These joggers were 120 quid and I prefer my weekday ones. I prefer a ton of other joggers I already have. I don't like the fact that they sit on my waist. I like my joggers to sort of sit like here. But then if I do that, all my fat spills out the side. I'm also not obsessed with having a drawstring on the outside of the jogger. When I got them and I tried them on, I was like, oh yeah, they're cute. They'll be practical. And then I'm like, we could have got a practical pair of joggers to wear around the house that weren't Fiorucci. And I just feel like it's wasted. Like, these are wasted on me. I'm not offended by them. I just know I could have spent my money on another pair of Crocs. You know what I mean? I literally think I must have accidentally put these in the dryer and shrunk them. Because when they came, they were so baggy. And now they fit. But I'm not mad about it. Because they fit better than when I first got them. Next thing I got from ASOS is these little pink. I don't really know what material these are. But they're just like really lightweight trousers. I honestly just bought them as some comfy summer trousers. Kind of just popping out like a little vest upon. But now that they've come, I really like them. I actually think they're really cute. I wore these in an Instagram with my little purple weekday top and then a pair of sunglasses little pink clear frame ones and i put them on my story and we actually sold them out good job girls i tried to find them so i could include them in this haul but i just could not find them anywhere but i have been on my asos sunglasses shit i have so many smaller sunglasses but i've been really enjoying like really big ones recently i don't know they just they feel a little bit more fun and like a little bit more young i got these big brown ones really similar to the pink ones i have i also got these ones which i'm still not 100 percent sure of. i got them so that they could look kind of almost ironic because of the gold and the jewels on the side of them but then every outfit i try them on with i feel like it looks like i'm seriously trying to wear them i just need to find the right outfit for them i think it's because i've been wearing them with like all black like a little black skirt and a little black top that it looks a little more business corporate or maybe i'm just overthinking it it's a fucking pair of sunglasses fussy and then i also got these huge green ones i feel like a fly once again from asos i got this pink top this is from their new as you label with the blue jeans as well i've been trying to get more into color i never used to wear any color or a word and it would be with like white like a neon with a white Ooh. Mm. 
Mm. And I really enjoy the little sparkles. I've also been a real, turned into a real pink girl. And pink has never been a color on my radar up until now. And I love it. Ooh, okay, we're up to 31 degrees. It is 31 degrees in here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. As I said before, I will have a link to the pieces below as well as my Depop shop and I'm selling some pretty delicious little garments on there. So make sure you go over and cop yourself a bargain. Thank you so much to Depop for working with me on this video. I really, really, really hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've said that so many times. I love you all so much. I hope you are all having an amazing day and I will see you all very soon. And conveniently, my camera has just started flashing. Okay, love you. Bye.